Hi everyone, my name is Tamika Mays and I am currently enrolled in the MBA program. I am quite honored to share my experience with you thus far. Um, I would have loved to be there in person, but um, it would be extremely difficult for me at this time. Um, as a mother of two and um, very little support around, a lot of my daily activities are already difficult. Um, not to mention the decision to enroll and now being an actual online student. After weighing the options in regard to continuing my studies, online schooling was the best choice for me um, for a number of reasons, including time and money. Um, before I, I applied for school, I was thinking, you know, I got this. Um, when I applied, I was like, I got this. And after being accepted, I was like, what have I gotten myself into? Um, soon after, though, the thought left me when I realized that I had a circle of support. I had a support team from the Empire State College, um, from emails, um, phone calls with Samantha, Dr. Rufa, um, my professors, um, and just the willingness from everyone to assist. I thought again, I got this. Um, I'm no expert in this. Um, this is my first semester. I've never done an online course before. Um, I don't want to paint a picture as if it's easy, but I can say for sure that I know who to call whenever I feel stuck or whenever I am overwhelmed. Um, I'd like to share a few, a few thoughts. Um, number one, I think that one of the things that hinder learning, online learning, is time. Um, I'm always on the go and this does affect the time I try to put aside for learning. Um, I had to learn to make time and use every single minute I had away from the children to put in a little reading. I have learned that a little goes a long way. Um, I was able to find a rhythm. It's still challenging, but it works for me for now. Um, number two, the online experience does seem a bit lonely. Um, Having done undergraduate studies, and I did this face-to-face, -face, my classmates were gems. Um, we used to bounce ideas off each other in real time. Um, it's hard not seeing anyone or having anyone, you know, respond to you when you make a post. Number three, I was expecting to see my lecturer's face. Um, I don't know if that sounds silly, but I thought he or she would post a lecture Maybe that they did themselves, along with the readings and such. Um, it would have been nice to see their faces. That makes a difference to me. Um, I also think that they could check in on us a little bit more from time to time. Um, fourthly, um, in regards to assessments, I would, I would prefer not to do group work, to be honest. But I know it is an important aspect of the world of work. And um, it does prepare us for that. So I do what I have to do. Um, number five, um, I just want to say students should not be afraid to ask questions and utilize the resources available. I know sometimes there's no time, but you have to find time to ask questions. Because if you don't know, you're not going to know unless you ask. Um, for example, I hate numbers. I hate figures, graphs, equations. I hate math, right? And I realized the courses that I was doing was all about that. Um, I sent an email out to my team explaining what was happening and in no time I was connected with a tutor, you know. So I decided that I would not take for granted the resources available to me as they were never afforded to me during my undergraduate studies um, back home in Jamaica. Um, number six, I, although it is said that online um, students are bored in their courses, I cannot say the same for me. I simply don't have the time to be bored. Um, I guess it is because I don't bombard myself with everything all at once. As I say, I try to put in a little at a time. It's it's still hard, but I do try. Um, and I continue to try my best with what I think is my best option for learning, which is online studies. Um, I hope my little um, sharing helps. Um, thank you all for the opportunity. All right. Bye.